Hey guys, what's up? Another thrifting adventure is already in the works. My first stop is going to be a Facebook marketplace pickup 45 miles west of my house. I'm almost there. I just stopped for gas. So let's take a look at what I bought right now. All right, guys, check it out. Here is the goods I picked up on Facebook marketplace. It was an ad for five huge wooden trunks. I paid a hundred bucks. I will, uh, at the end of the video, show you a little bit closer uh, photos of each one. But I value these at anywhere between like 300 to 400 bucks after I resell them. So, good stuff. It's another crazy windy day. So I haven't used a car as a windscreen, but I hope you didn't think I was just gonna show you some wooden trunks. I am going to go to two or three thrift stores in the Rockford, Illinois area. So let's get on, getting on, yeah. Steals and steals. All right guys, I just got to Belvedere, Mr. Belvedere, Illinois at the, uh, the Salvation Army family store. I've never been to this one, so let's go in and See what kind of goods they have. Just ran into this, is hockey print. This is pretty cool. It looks like they're autographed. And there's no way I'd be able to tell if it's real or not. 13 bucks is a little steep. Croquet set. $15.99. That's a maybe if I don't find anything else. I just don't have much room since I picked up those five trunks. Some cool old black and white photos, but I think they're all reprints. So that Salvation Army family store was pretty awesome. I ended up buying, uh, let's see, one, four, four, ah, 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 ah. Trend Master, uh, like foam light up Halloween things, and I ended up getting this Barbie case filled with uh, Barbie clothes. So excited, dude. Deals and steals. All right, guys. I'm in the Rockford area, and I'm at the Habitat for Humanity Restore store. I've never been to one of these locations, so let's go inside and see what they have. Too bad I bought all those trunks because this little chair, school desk thing. 25 bucks. All right guys, so that was a bust in the sense of buying anything to resell, but now I've been there and I kind of know what they're about. It's pretty much like a used Home Depot or Lowe's store. They have a lot of fixtures, a lot of doors, a lot of windows, uh, a lot of big furniture, but they're pretty much charging retail price, like I said, and you can tell that they look things up uh, before they price it because they're dead on with prices. A bust for me. Steals and steals. All right guys, right across the street, from the Habitat for Humanity Restore is another family store, Salvation Army family store. And I'm gonna go in. I've never been to this one either. Like I said, I'm out in the Rockford area. So let's go in and check it out. All right guys, so that was another bust. First bust at a uh, Salvation Army. So bad that I probably won't come back to this one just because there wasn't a lot in there. It looked like it was already picked over. Maybe I just came at the wrong time, but uh, yeah, it was that bad. Let's go home and check the loot out. All right guys, so we're back here. Let's talk about value. The first stop for me was a Facebook Marketplace pickup. I bought five wooden trunks old school uh, lock 
and key. Some of them have that. Uh, some of them have this uh, clasps. Some of them have handles. But let's take a look at my favorite one. I don't know what year this is from, but it's huge. The top opens up. It's it's all reinforced by metal. There's metal handles. It's a huge trunk. I would say it's about three feet uh, wide by about less than three feet tall. It's rectangular. Uh, I love this trunk. Uh, and then there's a green one that I really like. And it opens up. It's got wooden handles. Uh, there's a just that we could put a lock, you know, a rear lock on there to lock it. Um, I don't know what year this is from either, but I love the patina, I love the paint, I love the way it's made. And then a third trunk, I can't get to it because I have so much stuff in my garage now, but you can see on the side that it has the branding of what it is. And I love that branding, I love that type. And this trunk is made really old school. You can see on the sides where the wood lines up, that's a hand done. That's how you can date this trunk. But, and then there's a couple other ones. This one I'm showing you now, it, the lid just comes off. The sides are reinforced by these round wood pieces. And I think that's, that's pretty unique. And uh, you can tell this was like shut with these metal pieces. And uh, maybe it was used in transport back in the olden days, like on trains or whatever. But I, you know, I bought all, all these five wooden trunks. I paid a hundred dollars for them. And like I said, in the, you know, earlier in the video, I value them anywhere between 300 and 400 bucks resell. Trunks take a long time to sell. They're huge. I am going to be listing these online, but they're going to be local pickup only. Uh, cause the ship, some of these will be out of control cost more than what the trunk cost. All right, so next stop was the Salvation Army Family Store in Belvedere, Illinois. I'm definitely gonna be back to this store because it was chock full of, of stuff uh, and I found some great things there. The first set of things I found were Trendmaster vintage light up Halloween decorations and uh, I bought four of them. I bought one pumpkin set and I bought three uh, skull stacks. The reason I'm showing you b-roll of these is because I filmed this video about a week and a half ago and I've listed these since then. I've sold the pumpkins. I sold them for uh, $27. I took a best offer on that on eBay. I bought them for a dollar. So that's a great value right there. I was shocked they were priced at a dollar. So I, I, I bought them. Uh, I'd buy those any day of the week. All the skull stacks were priced at $4.99. I've sold one set for I think 25 bucks, best offer on eBay. I'm always gonna buy those when I see them for under five bucks. The next thing I bought from the Salvation Army was a case full of Barbie dolls and Barbie clothes. The case isn't Barbie brand, it's an off brand from the 70s. The dolls and clothes are all Barbie brand. Uh, the dolls on the small of their backs are all marked 1966 but I know that uh, they use those same molds so when you see that 66 that isn't always the case you have to tell you know look at the hands look at the hair and stuff and then the second vintage Barbie she's marked 66 on the small of her back as well but underneath the head right here uh, it says 1975 so I think the 1975 dates the Barbies and all the clothes in the case because when I took a closer look at all the clothes none of them had any tags when I researched the clothes there was a time period during the 1970s that none of the Barbie clothes had any tags so that's how I, I put the date on those so I bought the case the clothes and the three Barbie dolls for four dollars and 99 cents and uh, I value it at a hundred bucks uh, I'm gonna list it on eBay or best offer for a hundred bucks plus shipping and uh, I'll see if I can sell it for that or anywhere near that. I think I'll have no problem selling it for that because there are probably like 15 to 20 outfits worth of clothes, three Barbie dolls, and there was even a little uh, 1970s little baby, a Barbie baby that looks like a little mini Karen with like a punk rock haircut. Look at that, look at that with earrings. <laughs> Isn't that creepy? <laughs> I'm gonna start buying Barbies now because I uh, doing a little bit of research there. There are some valuable ones. And if you can get a lot of clothes for cheap, you can make some money. Next up is the Habitat for Humanity Restore store in Rockford. Uh, I think this place uh, was a bust just because it's more like a, like a Home Depot or a Lowe's hardware store where people donate items that are left over from construction sites like windows and doors and a lot of bigger items and a lot of uh, building type material. There, there was some small stuff, eBayable uh, stuff that I could sell in the store, but they were uh, dead on with their prices. 
they had done their research. There, there really wasn't any any point to me buying anything there because I couldn't sell it for any more than I bought it for. Uh, they did have a huge VHS section of uh, old VHS tapes and I found a few tapes. I found Rambo, First Blood, uh, it's a cool cover. I had, I, you know, I just had to buy that. It's a great movie. I think you can resell this easily. I found Mad Max. It's a great movie as well. I love the cover. You got, you got Mel Gibson looking all young. Uh, it's a great movie. I think this will sell quick. And then I found America's classic ballparks in this old, old school clamshell VHS case cover. It was funny when I was checking out. I had these three VHS tapes and I bought some uh, shop towels because they had some shop towels there for like super cheap. I think it was like a buck a roll. And the lady charged me two bucks and I'm like, oh, did you miss the tapes? And she's like, no, those are free. We have too many of them. So I ended up getting the three VHS tapes for free. So I, you know, value these at, you know, free. And then, you know, I would say four to six bucks resale value on, on, the, on the first blood. Uh, four to six bucks resale value on the Mad Max. And then, uh, this recently sold for four bucks online, so I listed it for four bucks. I, I can't remember what they were asking for the tapes. I think they were asking 50 cents each, so I would have bought them. I would have paid a dollar fifty because that's worth it for me to resell these. Littles always sell, and and if you sell a lot of uh, four to five dollar items, you can make some money. Last stop of the day is another family store, another Salvation Army family store. I always say that wrong. It's right right across the street from the Restore store. I saw it and I had to run over there. And I say this place is a complete bust. It was empty. Uh, they were lacking items. Uh, they were lacking big items. They did have a lot of clothes. I'm not a huge clothes buyer, but if I'm if I'm flipping if I'm flipping through the shirts, I'll buy some t-shirts if I'm seeing some cool ones. But they did have a few horror items. They had Lake Placid on VHS. They got paid a buck for this. I'll list it for four to six bucks on eBay. And not a lot of value there, but you know it's still worth selling. And then I found the Texas Chainsaw Massacre special edition. This isn't the remake. It's a special edition of the first movie, probably remastered, probably with some special features, probably with some commentary. And out of all the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies, the original 1974 version is my favorite. And I had to buy this on DVD because I didn't have it. So this isn't gonna be for uh, for sale. I'm just putting this in my collection. And uh, you know, I'll watch it probably never, but it's just nice to have it. When you're looking for that movie to watch, this is one of them they always want you to pay for. It's never for free anywhere, so. I have it now. As always, you know, you never know what you're gonna find when you go out thrifting. It's always an adventure, it's always fun, and you, you, I think you do always find something, but you never know what that's gonna be. I didn't think I was gonna come home with five huge wooden trunks, but I found those on Facebook Marketplace, and that led me to the area that I've never been before, and to the stores I've never been before. And one of them is gonna be on the list to go back for sure, that first Salvation Army Family Store. I'll definitely make my way back there at least once a month because they had so many good items and they were priced very, very, very well. If you're enjoying these thrifting videos, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And we definitely wanna get Shannon involved in the next one somehow. Maybe I call her on the phone or something, or maybe even she does her own video. So until the next, next thrifting adventure, Bye-bye.